Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks and today's video is going to be a little different. Here's what I mean by that. Um, today while scrolling on my Instagram I saw this really cool post, really unique idea using the new road plates from somebody named STL Brick Company if I remember correctly. Uh, it's Brick CO anyway so I'm assuming it means Brick Company. Um, and I'll even try and put a link to his particular Instagram down below. But anyway um, after seeing what he had it kind of gave me some ideas and I thought man this would look great if you assembled all this on an actual base plate and kind of made it in somewhat of a Mills fashion. And uh, now I want to take a minute to kind of show you guys what I came up with. Now, to me, if you want to use these standard base or standard road plate pieces, this would be the ticket to do it. If you don't want to widen them or anything like I typically do, because I, I know most of you guys know, um, here, I'll put it right here in front of here anyway. Uh, as I build mine, I always widen them out a little bit, and I put the white line on the edge of them. But doing it with this particular method, man, it really cleans up the road and dresses it up. And it gives you a really unique way to actually put what appears to be a very functional, and I mean, I mean, it, it just looks amazing, um, but a very functional drain line. And then I, I threw a few of my other little builds on there as well. As you can see, I got my little bus stop, and this is the uh, light that actually comes with the road plate kits. And then I even put one of my little fire hydrants on there also. But I just really, really, really like the thought of that and like the look of it because it, it makes the curb. Let me try and scoot in a little better there. It, it gives you that natural look and slope of, the, of, of a curb when you're in a city. And then you can even use multiple colors like you see here. And again, it still gives you that natural look of a curb. Um, and it's just a really, really great, great look. And you could actually even, believe it or not, incorporate this into a Mills plate. But one of the other advantages I would like to point out to you guys, and let me shut that turntable off if I can, is if you look here, it's actually thinner. And believe it or not, it uses less pieces if you wanted to build in a mills plate kind of fashion using the new road plate. And let me show you what I mean by that because here is one of my road plates. And I just want to show you that how much of a difference it is in thickness. Mind you, I know it's only one plate, but man, um, it's still really amazing because believe it or not, one of the, some of the cheapest parts that you can actually buy is what I'm using here to build that up which is the two by two plate. And then you can take that. And then all I simply did is because I have a ton of two by eights. So I put two two by eights across it on either side. And then I put some eight by eight plates, or I'm sorry, six by six plates on top of that. So I could tile over it. And it just makes for an extremely cool and smooth appearance. And like I said, that, that curb, um, it's just, Man, it's amazing. And if you didn't even want to use, like I did, because I actually, I, I threw this together really quickly so I could make a video to show you guys just because I really thought this was a very um, cool idea and a very cool thought that he originally came up with. And like I said, I just merely modified it to fit my, my taste a little bit more. On his version, it was just a little bit thicker here and he didn't have the, the drain here. He had this design, but he didn't put the grill pieces in for the drain. And to me, that was kind of what gives it that final panache, flair, if you will, to make the road look so much more real. Um, but if you wanted to use this even in a mills plate fashion, all you simply would have to do is instead of plating it all the way down like I did here, you could just bring the plates out and leave one stud left on the end. And then you could physically put a brick here. And then when you tile it over it, the tile would hold the brick into place. So this could actually, and I could actually, um, I might have to modify one of these tomorrow um, to kind of show you guys what I mean by that. But even at this thinner thickness, you could actually still make this a functional mills plate. Um, and I also have another really cool idea for actually using, again, this style of road in this fashion and making it to where it would be really easily to take your mill, your uh, modular buildings, place them on top of another base plate, and then actually I have a new method I want to show you guys. But um, you could do that and then you could place that right up next to these. And I mean, uh, it's just... It's, it's like every time I, I play with these road plates or I see somebody else playing with them, I just I find another unique, cool, and creative way to use them. 
Um, and I know a lot of people still really are not very happy with these. And I have to say, the more that I work with them, the more that I play with them, I, I am becoming a much bigger fan of this style of road plate. And I know that's not a popular um, comment, not a popular thought process, because a lot of people don't like these little chunky lines that you see everywhere. Uh, but to me, I mean, this is the way to go. If you don't want to do a brick built road, which is what I do throughout my city. And mind you, I'm not going to change <laughs> my entire city um, over to this. But I am going to start using these throughout my city because it, it's like any city, any town, anywhere you go. There's always different road widths and it depends on what time, what era that particular part of town was manufactured, built, constructed, whatever you want to call it. Um, depends on the width of the roads and you know, it, it, it's always good to have options and to show different things that you can do. And I just, I really, really think that this is a very good option and a very good look. Let me get this turntable out of the way and let me just show you one more time. Now, mind you, again, this is not widening, widening the roads and, or anything in any way, shape or form. Although I do want to point out, it would be very simple to widen these out and still keep this really amazing look. Um, all you'd have to simply do is move everything you did here back one brick, and then you could put a white line here before you get to the curb. And all you'd simply have to do is just move that plate in, put your uh, your uh, tile over top of it, and then just finish building everything in the way you were. Um, but uh, like I said, it's just it's, I'm I'm completely amazed every time that I see somebody else do something with these, and I'm completely amazed every time I play around with these and all the different uses for doing the roads anyway, and how many different unique ways you can create a road to make these look cool. And I just wanted to take a quick minute to kind of show you guys some of my thoughts and feelings on them, because again, like I said earlier, um, I know a lot of people don't like these and the popular demand. The popular opinion on these particular road plates is they are garbage. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, um, number one, the old road plates are going to be discontinued and they're not going to be manufactured anymore. So if even if you're not a fan of them, I really recommend you get on board with these. Uh, because once you start playing with them, I think you're going to find that they really are very awesome, very usable. And like I said, they're a much cheaper way to do your roads than like what I do, which is the brick built. But even this, this is another method I came up with. This is another very beautiful and easy, unique way to build your roads using those. Now, this is giving you more detail, and it's giving you the white line on the edge. But you still have to do a little bit of snot building along your edges in order to accomplish this. Now, me, personally, this is my favorite version of the new road. But I have to say... I wouldn't mind even trying to see if I could somehow modify this just a little bit um, and try and make it usable with this style of curb. So expect to see something like that on my channel here soon too, where I'm making, still using this, but with this curb plate. Um, as I, like I said, I'm just completely blown away and I really think these are some awesome plates. But anyway... Before I ramble too long, because I already feel like I have, uh, I'm a little tired today and I just, I wanted to get that quickly made and get it out to everybody so they could kind of see what I'm talking about. And still, like I said, just trying to give everybody an idea that, I mean, there is really a ton of uses for that particular road plate. But anyway, that is all for this video. So as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And hopefully we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.